Yes. Uh, so students, we've already learned the acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohols and we have prepared ethers. Now next important name reaction in ethers is Williamson ether synthesis. So let us write the heading. Williamson's Williamson ether synthesis. Right. Now observe carefully. It's very easy but little tricky. Let us see that. <coughs> In Williams and Ether synthesis, basically you require an alkyl halide. Yes. Along with this, you require, so we'll write this as alkyl halide. Along with this, you require an alkoxide. Okay. So any instead of this, okay, this is better. This is alk oxide. So which alkoxide is this? I picked up sodium alkoxide alk so sodium alk oxide done then there's an elimination of nx in the left over you get ether okay basic thing so you, for williamson ether synthesis when you're writing in the reaction williamson ether synthesis is the reaction between an alkyl halide and an alkoxide so if you're picking up sodium sodium alkoxide to form ethers here williamson ether synthesis i can use for preparing both symmetrical and unsymmetrical ethers both can be prepared with using williamson ether synthesis yeah so remember this now next important thing is <clears throat> just see whether this clue will be helpful for you. Now this is your alkyl halide, correct? This is your alkoxide. Now if the alkyl halide is primary, okay, if the alkyl halide is primary, then if it is combining with your tertiary alkoxides, okay, if the alkyl halide is primary and it is combining with tertiary alkoxide, the product which you get is ether. Correct? Done. Now reverse it. Now this is primary alkyl halide. This is tertiary. Now take this tertiary here. If you if tertiary alkyl halide is reacting with primary alkoxide, you will get alkenes. Why here in this particular case elimination? is preferred or it dominates over substitution rather than substitution it uh, it prefers elimination so because when we say elimination there's a formation of alkene if you remember this the whole concept is easy for us this is very important remember please note it carefully very very important so this should be primary then this, if the tertiary alkoxide is there you will get ether if you are picking up tertiary alkyl halide and if you are picking primary alkoxide i get alkene so with this let me start with the reaction so done yeah so now what did i say i said primary alkyl halide correct so what is now this primary alkyl halide <coughs> your x correct now carbon then your al primary is with two hydrogens and one alkyl group so this is your primary alkyl halide now i'm going to take tertiary alkoxide what is tertiary alkoxide your oxygen is there your sodium is there and your carbon or the alkyl group whichever is there is again attached to three alkyl groups correct so four around this is tertiary alkoxide in such particular cases you're going to take out na x and the leftover you're going to write r this is your your ch2 your o and your carbon with t3 it's not a problem comfortably i took out and i got this this is done now if you are picking up this case tertiary alkyl halide this is the first step now let me take the second step tertiary alkyl halide means what carbon with x so tertiary alkyl all the three are alkyl halides so uh, alkyl groups now this is also done now i have to add primary alkoxide so o is still there na is there correct now primary suppose if i take c2h5 not a problem this is primary alkyl halide because carbon attached to hydrogens yes so if you're getting confused if you're writing ch to c2h5 write ch2 ch3 now see carbon attached to two hydrogens primary alkoxide 
yeah now what happens in this case as i said so in tertiary if there is a tertiary alkyl halide elimination is preferred than sub your uh, uh, substitution that is what i said for forming alkyl elimination is more preferred now observe carefully what happens is basically your nax is out not a problem comfortably yeah now observe there is this particular carbon you can pick up anything now this hydrogen this is like h3 is h2 and h <coughs> this whole thing yeah now i said i will get alkene this whole thing comes out with this hydrogen what do i get c2h5oh now the bond which is here is going to shift here what do i get now ch3 c your carbon your double bond ch2 your ch3 alkene so this is the logic so once again if you are taking primary alkyl halide and tertiary alkoxide you will get ethers the reverse if you are taking tertiary alkyl halide and primary alkoxide you will get alkenes because elimination elimination is versus substitution so elimination is more preferred here so what is the order when i write order of alkyl halides for Williamson ether synthesis alkyl halides for Williamson ether synthesis so what is the order so whenever you are speaking about Williamson ether synthesis the order for alkyl halides is uh, uh, which will uh, for ether means I if I have to prepare ethers I have to pick up primary is more preferred than secondary is more preferred than tertiary if you are picking up secondary and tertiary you will get alkenes if you are preparing, preferring primary, you will get ethers. Remember this. Please note it and I will come back with one more example.